Hey everybody, I am David and today I want to talk about a photo that was uh, released yet yesterday by Patty Jenkins of Chris Pine on the set of Wonder Woman 1984. Uh, that's right, Chris Pine uh, is going to be back uh, along with Gal Gadot returning as the title character Wonder Woman, Diana Prince. Uh, we're all very excited because Wonder Woman was a really good movie, something that the DC uh, universe, movie universe, film universe uh, has gotten everybody on board with, with was that one Wonder Woman movie so far. That's the one movie that most people agreed, yes, this is the first good movie that they all that they have. Uh, I'll disagree with that. I think Man of Steel and Batman v Superman were good movies, um, but that's for another time. Let's keep this focused on Wonder Woman. Um, look, it has everybody talking. How is Chris Pine back? Because if you go back and watch the original, the first Wonder Woman movie, Steve Trevor was killed on a plane, as far as we know. Uh, if this was time travel involved, Shouldn't she go back to 1918, the, the year he died in? Um, so I'm going to rule time travel is not into this. I do have a theory on how I think he will be back. And that's why I'm doing this video to share my theory on this. I think we are going to see Hades, the Lord of the Dead in from Greek mythology. If you know Greek mythology, Hades is a... Uh, a god, lord of the underworld. He he keeps all the souls that have crossed over uh, and sends them to uh, the hell of the underworld or the heaven. Uh, I think heaven is called the Elysian Fields or something like that. And hell, I forgot what it's called right now. Um, but yeah, they go to heaven or hell uh, or the Greek mythology's, mythology's version of it. And Hades is the one that decides which person goes where and um, some people are thinking but wait aren't all of the gods dead wasn't Ares the last god as far as we know Ares was the last god and I think they do say something about the gods uh, possibly all dying it's never really that clear on which gods they were referring to um, I, I don't think uh, but I'm sure movies tend to like change things here and there and say yeah all the gods died oh except for this one right over here we forgot about him and hades is not a god that would go and mingle with the other gods anyways from my understanding of greek mythology hades would kind of stand on its own he kind of resented the rest of the gods and was like you know what i'm okay down here uh just leave me be i'll take care of this place so yeah um so what if hades decides to cause a little trouble and to cause some trouble for wonder woman wouldn't it be interesting if he dangled uh steve trevor right in front of her now we know that um uh, we know that cheetah is going to be in this movie uh played by the actress's name is, I want to say Kate McKinnon, but I know it's not her. It's the other SNL actress. Kristen Wiig will be playing Cheetah. Uh, so we know that. And we do know that Pedro Pascal is in the movie, although he's in an un, uh, unknown character. We don't know who he's playing exactly. We just know that he's going to be in the movie. What if he's playing Hades and they just haven't announced it yet? Uh, I mean, it's really a short list right now all we know is gal gadot chris pine Kristen wig and pedro uh, pascal are in this movie i really do think hades is going to be involved in this somehow because i do know that he plays a, ro a villainous role in the comics as well as well as the justice league unlimited uh series there was an episode where hades was a villain in there as well i mean this is the most obvious answer to me i know some fans are saying a name a character by the name of cersei now i don't know too much about that character because i'm gonna be honest i don't know too much about the wonder woman comic books uh my my knowledge on wonder woman comes from the movies and the animated stuff that bruce tim has produced um so I, I i can't say who cersei is and if that to me but right now hades makes the most logical sense to me 
uh, how else do you bring someone back from the dead? That would make the most sense. Uh, I think even in the Wonder Woman episode, I mean, in the Justice League episode, um, there, it involved Hades bringing... Oh, no, it was the directive video Wonder Woman where Hades was bringing back an army of dead people back from the dead and having them attack modern day. So uh, we could get maybe something like that in here. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing Steve Trevor back from the dead. Uh, and that would, like I said, the only way to bring back someone from the dead, Hades is your best option as far as I'm concerned. I want people to tell me in the comment section if they have a better solution. Is there a storyline in the comics where uh, someone has risen from the dead uh, in the Wonder Woman comics? And is there another character that can do something like that? Or do you guys think time travel is involved? Are we going to find out that maybe someone traveled to that moment right before the plane uh, blew up and brought Steve Trevor to 1984? Although, why 1984? Why not the present day? Uh, we do know that they probably want to get away from the present day stuff because that's where the Justice League is. So if you keep it in the past, you don't have to worry about no Batman or Superman. Like, where are they in this time during this whole stuff? Um, we'll see, I guess. So uh, that's my theory, guys. Hades, the Lord of the Dead. I think he's going to be one of the villains along with Cheetah in this movie. And I think Pedro Pascal is going to be playing him. Comment below, tell me your thoughts if you think I'm right or wrong. There's no right or wrong answers because we don't know. We're just speculating. That's the fun thing about guessing about movies before they come out. And guess what? This movie is over a year away. It's coming out December 2019. So uh, we have a lot of time to speculate. And I'm sure sometime next year, next summer, they'll show us the trailer. So we'll see. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and uh, I'm going to also leave in the description area um, my brother is starting a Kickstarter campaign uh, because he is a comic book artist and writer and he is trying to get this book published that he really wants to do. Uh, so from the bottom of his heart, I guess, uh, if you can donate, any little bit helps. Uh, I'll put the link to his Kickstarter page in the comment section below um if you can't don't worry about it uh but yeah you know it's hard for a struggling artist to get their voices out there to get themselves heard and sometimes they have to start these kickstarter campaigns to uh, to help them so he's trying to raise enough money for that like i said uh you can check out that link in the comment section below uh, in the description box below. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it, everybody. Until next time, take care.